If you've seen other videos on this channel, you've probably heard us talk about the importance of where you put your 5G router or antenna to make sure you get the best signal and speeds. But finding the best place for your device can be tricky. So today, we're going to explain how to find exactly where to put your 5G router or antenna to make sure you're getting the best possible speeds. What we've done is built an app that tracks your signal and reports on it in real time. So you can walk around the house and find exactly where your 4G or 5G signal is strongest. We'll explain exactly how to use the app to find the best place to put your 4G or 5G broadband device. But click the link in the description if you want to download the app and have a play around with it. Two things to note though before we get started. The first is, this is an Android only app because Apple doesn't allow app makers to access 4G or 5G signal info. But you can use any cheap Android phone you happen to have if you have an old one lying around. The second thing to note is, all of the metrics will obviously vary depending on the network you're using. So make sure to take the SIM out of your router and put it in your phone to get an accurate reading. The app will monitor signal for whatever SIM is active for mobile data on your phone when you're using it. The app is completely free to use, but if you have any issues with it, email us at this address or leave a comment below to let us know what happened. Once you've downloaded the app, and granted phone and Wi-Fi permissions so it can read your signal metrics. You'll start off on the Wi-Fi page, which is used for monitoring Wi-Fi signal issues and figuring out the best place for your router from a Wi-Fi point of view, like working out where your dead spots are and that sort of thing. So click the button in the bottom right to monitor your mobile signal. Essentially, the app grades your signal on a scale from 0 to 100 and has a heap of other useful information as well, which we'll get into later. The most important thing is the main score, which should update every few seconds or so, depending on how often your phone's modem sends information to the app. Even if you have pretty strong 4G or 5G signal, getting a green score is rare here, so an orange rating of around 40 to 50 or so is still pretty good for home broadband. The score is calculated based on the first three metrics shown below the main score. RSRP is the most important one, which measures the overall strength of usable signal. The main score is weighted towards this. Then we look at RSRQ, which measures signal quality, giving you an idea of congestion and radio interference in your area. And finally, we look at RSRP, which gives you an idea of environmental interference. RSSI is also shown, which measures the total amount of signal received, but this isn't as important for 4G and 5G, so it doesn't affect the overall score. If your overall score is bad or inconsistent, you can use the other metrics to get an idea of why. For example, if your RSRQ is really low, this probably means there's buildings or other objects blocking your signal to the nearest mast. So you might want to put your 5G router somewhere else with a better line of sight to the nearest mast. Fortunately, the app also shows you which mast you're connected to, so we'll explain how to do this later in the video. Finally, you'll also notice the app will show band information. You don't have to worry about this too much if you're not technically minded, but this can give you an idea of why you're receiving the speeds you're receiving. For example, if you have a 5G router and you're only getting band 1, you probably won't be getting very fast download speeds compared to using some other 5G bands. So it's worth searching around the house using the app to see if you can pick up different bands in another area. So the first thing you can do with the app to figure out where to put your router or antenna is just walk around with it and see where you get the best signal reading for 4G or 5G broadband. The overall score is the most important thing most of the time, so start by walking around the house and seeing where you get the best score. This will normally be by an upstairs window, if you have one, and if you're testing antenna locations, you can try open the window and hold the phone outside, obviously being careful not to drop it, to see what sort of signal you're seeing. Where we are, are testing on the 3 network, even though we're in an area with good indoor and outdoor 5G coverage, and we normally get speeds of about 400 megabits per second with the 5G hub, or 500 to 600 megabits per second with the 5G outdoor hub, we still only get a fair or yellow score, as you can see here, of about 50 out of 100 in a spot where the 5G hub performs well. So whether you're on 4G or 5G, 
you don't need to hunt for a green score. Normally, the overall rating is skewed by at least one of the metrics, so getting 70 or 80 out of 100, for example, is quite rare to see. What we noticed was, if we went downstairs to ground level or out on the street, our score would drop down to about 35 to 40, and same for our speed test if we moved our router down there as well. So getting on a second story can be very beneficial for your speeds. So as we touched on before, the second good thing you can do with the app to work out where to put your router or antenna is find out which tower you're connected to to optimize your router or antenna's positioning. It's important to note this isn't an exact science. Your phone might decide to connect to a different mast to the one your router is using, but in our experience, that is pretty rare to see, unless you're in the center of London or something, and there's lots of different masts you might be connected to. So when you open the app, you should see an ENB number at the top. This is essentially the ID number of the tower you're connected to. Sometimes when your phone is on 5G, it won't report an ENB to the app. So try to switch to 4G instead, so that it hooks onto the nearest 4G mast, which in general will be the same place your 5G is being broadcast from. So once you have an ENB to look at, come to this website, cellmapper.net, and another provider dropdown. Choose the network you're using, and then switch to 4G because the 5G data isn't very good at the moment, but they're in the same locations as the 4G ones from our experience, so you can use this data instead. Then zoom in on your location on the app and match up the ENB to this number shown for each tower. If you can't find the tower, you can also search for it by putting in the ID here. Sometimes the last digit on the ENB is incorrect, so you might want to remove it from your search if you don't find anything initially. For example, this tower here might be reported as 10827 or something like that in the app. But once you've found your tower, if you're not getting great speeds, try put your router or antenna on the side of the property facing the mast. Even if this isn't necessarily the best place in terms of a maximum overall signal score, this might help you get better signal strength. Especially if your RSRQ is quite low in the app, meaning your signal is being blocked by buildings and other obstacles. For example, if this is your tower here and you live in this property, you'd want to put the antenna on this wall ideally, facing to the east, or put the router on an upstairs windowsill on this side of the house. So thanks for watching, and remember, if you have an Android phone, click the link in the description or pinned comment to download the app and test out your 4G and 5G signal strength. If you have any issues at all with the app, email app at broadbandsavvy.com or let us know in the comments below. And also feel free to ask any questions about using it or about optimizing your router or antenna position, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.